intersection forcing local drivers to make a bad choice and tonight our reporting leading to change. ABC Action News reporter Nicole Gregg live on Fernhill Drive in Riverview. Nicole. Good evening, Paul. Well, we're right at the peak of rush hour for the evening commute. You can see this is the intersection we're talking about. If anyone is trying to make a left hand turn right here, it's nearly impossible. Now I've been working on this story for three weeks now, and we just got the news that something is being done here. Driver after driver playing what some call Russian roulette, sitting in this median waiting to safely cross all five lanes. We have begged, we have pleaded, we've asked all of our neighbors. Vicki Wood has lived near the Fernhill intersection for 20 years. They say they've been asking for a stoplight for years. They said that there is no money, that the infrastructure that they just won't do anything for us. After our first story of Action Air One showing the dangers, ring power around the corner, stepping in and sending our story to Commissioner Stacy White, asking for something to be done for the safety of hundreds of their employees and their neighbors. The private company even offering to fund the project if compensated later. ABC Action News was invited to a closed door meeting where the commissioner and a county engineer revealed a temporary light will go up in the next month. That's awesome. Because your last story said we wouldn't get anyone to 20. 21. A huge thank you to ABC News for doing the initial story to spark the meeting that we had today with the commissioner. I asked Commissioner White if the original three year time frame was acceptable. Definitely was not OK with me. That's why I've engaged. And a permanent light will not go in until the beginning of next year. Now, the engineers tell me that while this temporary light is up. It's going to take some time for the congestion to become in sync. Reporting live in Riverview, Nicole Grigg, ABC Action News.